Hello everyone. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you two freely available Modburst master application. Now, these two applications can be used for testing your Modburst slave application, your own implementation running on the laptop or, or on a small microcomputer, or it could be even a Modburst slave application running on a PLC. In my case, it is uh, my Modburst slave application that I have implemented on the PLC uh, as I'm working on a prototype. Uh, around an industrial IoT use case. Uh, I kind of struggled for a couple of weeks to find a freely available Modbus master application but today only I kind of find two freely available Modbus master application that are pretty easy to use and uh, which supports you know uh, recursive reading and continuous reading of data from the Modbus slave. So the first one is uh, Radzio. The name is Modbus master slave simulator. Uh, I have a pre-saved session over here which I can easily connect and start getting data. Okay. I believe there are two Modbus client applications running at the same time. So let me close this one and let me try to connect again. Yes. Now you can see you're getting some values 25, 21 over here which are nothing but just some temperature and humidity values coming from a sensor uh, installed at the north at the south end. So let me give you a small demo how you can create your own session. Uh, so you, ha you, can, you have to go to file, you have to click on new and then all you have to do is uh, go to connection, go to your settings and I'm going to give you a demo around Modbus TCP as my slave is running uh, on a PLC connected via Ethernet. So here you can see the IP address of the PLC and the port number on which the slave is running. Which This is basically the default port of Modbus slave. You click on OK and then you go to connection and say connect okay even before we start getting seeing any data you have to select the holding registers where i'm actually pushing in the data from the sensors so you can see that you have started getting the same data uh, from the plc over here we have an option to uh, read multiple registers so i'll make it 40 for now right now you can see we can read 40 registers just to give you a demo around data flowing in from a physical PLC to this software I have done a small implementation where where if I'm going to turn this button on on the PLC you can see this byte becomes one if I turn it off it becomes zero fair enough so this is uh, the first software which is pretty much free and it doesn't have any restrictions in terms of uh, like you know the, like like the other softwares which comes with restrictions like uh, you have to rest keep restarting the software every every uh, 10 minutes which is a real pain uh, so this is this is a pretty nice software the second software here that i am using is qmod master over here also the settings are pretty simple to make you have to go to options you have to go to modbus tcp here you provide the modbus slaves uh, ip address here you provide the tcp uh, the modbus slaves port which is 502 by default uh, here you can select what you want to read or whether you want to read or whether you want to write data so if you see, uh, you can read holding registers over here. So if I click on this and I say I want to read 40 number of registers starting from address 1 and I click on connect. So one thing you can observe right now it is red and the address is IP. This is the IP address and port. The moment I connect and if it successfully connects, it will give you uh, this red signal. This red sign will become green and it means it has successfully connect connected to the Modbus slave. Uh, so it will not start reading data for now and then you have to click on uh, scanning the data continuously. If you click on this icon, it will start reading the 40 registers of data from the mod uh, from the Modbus slave from the PLC in my case. And again, if I turn on the physical switch on the PLC, this byte should become one for now. And then if I turn it off, this becomes zero again. So this is another tool. This is the second tool that I am using uh, pretty much for my for testing my Modbus application. Um, this also has a Modbus uh, this thing a bus monitor, and uh, here you can see what data is going, what data is coming, if if at all you need it for debugging purpose. And uh, so this is pretty. This is again a pretty interesting tool, which with with a lot of basic and a pretty advanced features, and it can help you pretty much with your Modbus slave implementation. Currently, I haven't figured out any, uh, you know, application, uh, any mod freely available Modbus slave application that can be used while you are implementing your own Modbus master application. Uh, once I get hold of a couple of Modbus slave uh, 
you know test app oscillators i'll probably make another video for now thanks for watching my video and do subscribe to my channel if you would like to get more information and more insights around plc thank you for watching have a great day